is our last morning. We pulled the traps out today. Uh, 17 dogs so far. And I think there's a chance for at least one this morning. So if we can do 18 and, and nine nights of trapping, I'll be happy with that. The landowner's happy. And he's already talking about the next program. He said, when can you come back? So he realized what's gonna happen. Next door neighbor over here, they took uh, eight dogs in a week. There, uh, just this previous week before I started, right next to them. There's just so much of this range country here that just breeds dogs. What you doing? <laughs> you still, get out, you still. Yeah, four of the uh, females that we took have had litters of pups. So they'll be kicking around towards Christmas time. It's a, uh, it's just something that you need to keep doing. What are you going to drive now? What's it, Brandon? Mate, you couldn't drive a, you couldn't drive a vehicle, mate, let alone a super power. No. We're coming in at the Stellion Dam from the opposite direction this morning because uh, I'd like to try howl. We've got the wind right, so I'd like to try howling at the big ridge that's in the middle, the big scrubby hill. Because I think that's where there'll be a dog holed up. If we've got any that are dodging the traps here, which there will be, uh, we'll see if we can howl them out. Let's see what's in the traps first. No sign so far. Okay, two traps are still in place. What I do find interesting going around a lot of this country is that um, there's a lot of rocks that have impressions in them. Like you can see that one there with the leaf in there. There's all sorts of stuff here. Little ferns. You can skunk, no, it's nothing that's important, bud. But uh, yeah, that's why I'm finding some more later on. Quite often you'll see really beautiful and intricate fern leaf impressions on these bare old hillsides. You can see in this layer here where the sides cracked out, you can see all the little intricate patterns of different leaves, different leaves. Another one there. In here. That looks like a bit of petrified, sort of petrified wood there. A lot of beautiful stuff. Another pattern on here. Ancient ground. There's one you can still see the strata of the leaf, or wood, or whatever it was. tells us there's my track straight through nothing there's the trap it did its job caught one here uh, so this is all part of the pattern, all part of the whole system. It's just a big team. That's the way I see it is that you, know, you get 50 to 70, 80 traps out there in a, uh, basically a rough system, something that makes sense. You think, right, where are my dogs? Where are they working? Where have I got them interested? And you set your traps to suit so they're all a part of a team all team players not everybody gets to score the try I get up here to pull this trap 
This tribe's gone. I better go back up to the vehicle and get my uh, get the 22 because there'll be a dog down here in the gully somewhere. Skunk, you better fetch that gun for me, mate. Come on. Got a job to do. Come on, quick, hunt him up, hunt him up. Look out, Brandon. You're always in the road, Brandon. Hunt him up. Where'd he go, mate? Down that way. Back foot catch, I think. Dogs are going in. Good game. Uh, let's brought up number 18. We went a long way with that drag. Normally they don't go, but it's fairly clear country. So he's actually came about 200 metres down the gully. Yep. Good boy, Brandon. Good boy. Good boy, skunk. Skunk, good boy. Well tracked. Well tracked. Well tracked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well tracked. <laughs> Get out, you lunatic. Brandon, stop being a moron, Brandon. Good boy. Another big mature dog to bring up number 18. Caught with a victor, full poor catch. Can't complain about that. And that's what we want to see out of this area here. This is where the calves are getting killed. And this is the fourth big older dog that we've taken out of just this paddock alone here. So we definitely won't have killed them all. Uh, there's a lot more dogs out there but it just takes the pressure off. Plenty of kites, nothing. Okay, we're down at the next set and the guards are still up. Three guards are still up. Calf sign. Cattle, pigeon, curlew. We got one dog across that track. I think that's a fresh one, so that might even be the dog we just caught. Come down here to the trap set, pigeon, crow, cattle. Pigeon all the way over the top of the trap. All part of the team. Don't look so disappointed, skunk. We're down here at the second set pattern. Nothing. So we've got one dog. And that's it. Skunk, you look really depressed, mate. I should call you Sunshine. Yeah. Ever heard of Deliverance? What we've noticed in this paddock here where these heifers are calving at the moment is they're very, very flighty. As soon as they see anybody, they just race off. And that's not like these animals. They are very, very well handled. 
um, when you see the stockmanship that's um, in place here on this property and how they uh, train their wiener cattle, uh, how well their mature cattle handle around vehicles and dogs and horses and everything. When you see animals panic uh, like this, yeah, you know that the, um, they're getting hit hard. So to take four big mature dogs out of this run right here, right in amongst these little calves, has been a huge success. Well, it's interesting this time here, so put this smoky post out here and usually that will attract a dog. Did not get a, a mark anywhere near it. I did also put some urine in there later on, still nothing. So I think this was just bad luck, even though I have got dog tracks here. So why? I've had another set over there with scat, nothing. This might have been bad luck. It might have been all it was. Trap still perfect. This is where the dogs bailed up this boar about a week ago. So I'm just working on the possibility that there could be a dog living on that, on that carcass. So far, nothing, not an answer. But that doesn't always mean that there's not a dog here. They could come in silent. So we'll give it about 20 minutes. Nothing again but crow tracks. Crows have been totally over this set, but still very much alive. Am I interrupting something? What are you trying to do? I'm already demonetized. You're trying to get me struck off completely. Hey, come on, guys. Get a room, eh? Hey, this is supposed to be a family show. Young Rooser today, I don't know.